to him. He didn't read or write. That's not a miracle. It's talking a miracle. Yes, talking. Talking is so I'm miraculous. If you're saying some people can see Allah, then when the Quran says no vision can see Allah, you've got a contradiction. So the light that is veiling him, so the light that is veiling him is greater than Allah's light. Is that light created or uncreated? It's created. So a created light is superior to the light of Allah. Bro, we can't have a conversation. There's no conversation to be had with you. There's no conversation to be had with you. It's impossible to have a conversation with you. What? Because he, he, he just interrupts constantly. He just interrupts constantly. Well, let me ask you, do you support Hamas? You what, sorry? Do you support Palestine's struggle against Israel? Who, who, who's leading that struggle? Yeah, yeah. In the Gaza. Brother, it's a game over there. They never finish because they put them. And this is why you can't have a conversation with him. Just like that, he interrupts you constantly. Anyway, have a good day. Godspeed. So, pussy, not a man. Yes, mate, sure. Any questions? So, any questions on what I talked about? Any questions on Hamas, Israel, so we were talking about, we had a jihadi Islamist who was openly supporting Hamas. He was a Muslim here in the park. He's gone now, he's gone. I agree, every religion is good and bad people. So then you look at the, what, what the prophets and the example of the prophets gave them. Now in Christianity, we look towards Jesus Christ. In Islam, you look towards Muhammad. You, you say that, but you follow Muhammad. The example that you follow is Muhammad. Now, l l I obviously disagree with that. I disagree with that completely. I think that's total baloney, really. Can you prove to me that Jesus and Muhammad taught the same message? What was the message of Jesus? That say whoever speak to you bad speak to him nice. Whoever is bad to you speak to him nice. That verse. That's Jesus teaching. What was no no no? What was the message of Jesus? Let, 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 let me do it. Right. Do you want to talk to him or do you want to talk to me? Because I can just go somewhere else. Do you want to talk to me or do you want to talk to him? Right. Let's talk then. So what was what was the message of what was the message of Jesus? Turns out the trick. Okay, so what I would say to you is that that, that, that's very kind of broad and generalized and you've already admitted and, and you know compliments to you for your honesty that you're not particularly educated about what the previous prophets revealed so let me actually tell you what Jesus let, let, let me tell you what Jesus actually taught Jesus actually taught that he was the Messiah and that in his coming the kingdom of God had come on earth he taught that his body would be given and his blood would be spilled for the forgiveness of sins and in that, a new covenant would be established. A new covenant, not like the Mosaic covenant. So Jesus teaches a, a, a message that is radically based upon himself as a person. And when you look at what the Old Testament teaches about the Messiah, you realize that this isn't just a man. It can't just be a man. He's, he's more than a man. He is a man, but the prophet is just a man. A prophet is just a man. Was he just a man? You know when he turned the stick into a snake, he could perform some uh, magic as well. But he was still a man. But, that, but same as Jesus. Jesus was more than a man, he was God also. But uh, look, I just have a question. You say Jesus was God, right? Yeah. Did Jesus ever go to it? 
Yeah, of course you do. But how can God go to a Now, I mean, you, you say that like you've proven something. Like, no, I, no, no, no honestly, it, 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 oh, yeah, and I, I'm going to answer it. Sure. Because we believe that God has become incarnate and took upon himself a human nature. And that human nature is a real human nature, and so it does all the things that human natures do, including going to the toilet. But let's get back to the point, because, because I know when I say that Jesus is God, Muslims resort to a script, and you've just exemplified that script beautifully. But the reality is Jesus claims to be the Jewish Messiah. The Jewish Messiah is a divine figure. He's not just a man. And that's shown in the Old Testament. Do you want me to show you? Yeah, in the Old Testament where the figure is divine, not just human. Okay. So, one of the titles of the Messiah and the title that Jesus uses of himself the most often in the New Testament is the title, the Son of Man, right? You'll see all the way through the New Testament. Jesus always refers to himself as the Son of Man. It's the favorite reference that he uses to himself, okay? Bear with us. Right. So, this is the prophet Daniel, and he's, he's speaking before Christ. So this is before Christ's time, all right? And he's speaking, and I, I, want to, I, I want you to read this passage with me, okay? I kept looking in the night visions. So this is like he's having a vision that's given to him by God. I kept looking in the night visions, and behold, with the clouds of heaven, one like a son of man was coming. So this is the title that Jesus uses of himself. But yeah? May I ask a question before you continue? Yeah, go on. Uh, you see here it says, son of man. Why yeah. did it not say son of God? Because that, this is the title that is given to this figure, and no, Jesus so uses. The title, not son of God, doesn't it need to be. Son of God. It doesn't need to or be. If he is the God, it doesn't need to how be. How can God be the? It doesn't need to can be. Can I just read that one more time? Sorry. Yeah. How can God be son of man? Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't need to be. Yeah, of course you can. Yeah, totally. Enjoy your day. So, in in terms of in terms of the Son of Man, the the the, the point that you've made is completely irrelevant, because the title is not important. What's important? is the person that the title is given to. Oh, would that not be a little bit misleading, Mr. From the it doesn't matter. you, this is a car, but you say that's a bottle. But, but, not a but, but, but the, will, will, if I call that a car, will it still contain water? That's a different thing. The one saying no, 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 no. If, if Brother, it, you, it doesn't matter how many times you interrupt, we're still going to read this passage. No, no, of course we can. Okay, let's, let's so the, the passage states, one like the Son of Man was coming, and he came up to the Ancient of Days. Now, just to save me going into it, I'll just tell you who the Ancient of Days is. The Ancient of Days, is is God. Yeah, you have a lovely day, love. Don't let anyone bug you. Yeah. So he came to the Ancient of Days, so that's God, and was presented before him. So this is two figures, yeah? And to him was given dominion, glory, and a kingdom that all peoples, nations, and men of every language might serve him. Now, who rightfully should receive the submission of the entire world? Who? I'll let you, say you know who? God. God yeah, yeah, exactly. God, yeah, so exactly. God, right? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. So, so he's, this, this figure is receiving the submission of the entire world, which is rightful only to God, that they might serve him. Please note that they might serve him, the Son of Man. Yeah? His dominion is an everlasting dominion. Whose dominion is everlasting? God's. You know that, I know that. There's no need to labor the point. So this son of man, and that is a prophecy of the Messiah, this son of man whom Jesus calls himself the son of man is more than just a human being. Mm -hmm. He's also divine, because that's what the Old Testament teaches about the Messiah. Okay, your reply. Can I just read it to the end of it? Uh, yeah. We didn't finish it. Yeah, yeah. I just want to see how it ends in it. Yeah. Uh, so his dominion is an everlasting dominion which will not pass away and his kingdom is one which will not be destroyed. Now, whose kingdom and dominion is that? God's. So the Son of Man is God. And Jesus calls himself the Son of Man. And I'll show you where he does it, just so you can see. Yeah, absolutely, that's totally Son of Man, what does that mean? Yeah. It's just a title. It's a title from the Old Testament. It's like a king, it's just a title, or a president, it's a title. Okay, so let's have a look at it. Matthew, bear with us. Son of Adam, son of man. 
that was me, son of my kind. So, right. Okay, so this is a passage that I'd ask you to read in full on your own. It's in Matthew chapter 27. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to read the pertinent point to what I've just referred to. But then it wouldn't make sense if we could not read all of it. Yeah, well, you can do that. Okay. I've told you where it is, Matthew 27. I, I am just going to read the point that's pertinent to the bit that I've just told you. Because right. I've just shown you that the Son of Man is a divine figure. Now I'm going to show you that Jesus calls himself the Son of Man. So this is at Jesus' trial before Caiaphas, okay? And it goes... The high priest stood up and said to him, that's talking to Jesus, do you answer, what is it that these men are testifying against you? But Jesus kept silent. And the high priest said to him, I adjure you by the living God that you tell us whether you are the Christ, the Son of God. Can you read that part one more time? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to finish and then we'll go back through it. That, that you tell us whether you are the Christ, the Son of God, Jesus said to him, You have said it yourself. Nevertheless, I tell you, hereafter you will see the Son of Man, so he's talking about himself, sitting at the right hand of the power and coming in the clouds of Who's heaven. The power? God, the Father. So, look, if you don't mind, yes. just one more question. You see here where you just read there, you said yeah. he's sitting by the side of the power. Right? Yes. So how can he, how can God sit beside himself? Can I sit beside myself? Right. So 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 so, so this is this is uh, because of the Islamic script that you guys are no, taught no, no, about Christianity. No, I'm about yeah yeah yeah. But, but I'm just saying, like, if you listen to me, you might get an answer to your question. Sure, sure, right. But because of the Islamic script that Muslims say to themselves, they say something that we Christians don't say. We don't say that God sits next to God in the sense that you're thinking of it, like one is sitting next to one. Well, I'm going to, but if you keep interrupting, I just have to take longer to. So, 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 so it, it is because you, you're reciting a script to yourselves. So we say that the Son is sitting next to the Father because we believe that the one God exists as Father, Son and Holy Spirit. So we say the Son is sitting next to the Father. That is what we say. So you're telling me this God is in three? Yes. So there's three different people as God. So you've got Spirit, you've got Jesus, and you've got the Father. We say that, yeah, that there's three hypostases. How does that work out? Could you explain? Yeah, well, really easily, really easily. Because is your problem the idea that one can be three and three can be one? How? Well, but are you standing in three-dimensional space right now? That's got nothing to do with it. It really does. Do it really does. Because if you, and you will, recognize that you're standing in three-dimensional space, then you accept that singularity and plurality are not contradictory factors. Again, let, let's use the analogy that I'm using. Let, let, wait, wait a second. Let's use the analogy that I'm using. Do you accept or not that you're standing in three-dimensional space? I don't even understand what that means. That's all right. Maybe you didn't do physics. So as someone who studied physics, let me tell you, let me tell you as a matter of fact, an indisputable fact, the fact that if you argue against it, you're going to look like an idiot, you are standing in three-dimensional space. Now, do you experience that three-dimensional as three or one? Now, this is a question you can answer because you're just answering from your experience. This space surrounding you, do you experience it as one or three? Understand your question, okay. I'll be honest with you. So, you, so if you're anything, you guys understand what you're saying? Uh, now it's I'm funny. Does, any, does anyone so I can engage as well? No, do, do you understand what I'm saying? Right, you get it. You get it. Now, isn't it strange that whenever I use this, do you get what I said? I didn't hear what you said. Okay, fair. I'm talking about three dimensional space being singular, it's an experienced singularity. He gets it. Now, please know because I always find this interesting that all the non-Muslims get it straight away and all the Muslims go, I don't know what you're saying. Now, doesn't that tell you something? No, because no, it does it. We, we well, don't how is it he gets it and he gets it and I get it, but the only English. ones that don't Maybe get it are only English. Muslims? No, Maybe they know better true. English. No, 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 no. That's well, do you, did you get what I said? I don't understand it. Did you get what I said? Did you get what I said? What you said? Okay. So your objection to the Trinity was. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. You can jump in. I'm not going to exclude you from the conversation. But no, no. That's fine. That's fine. But I promise you, if you interrupt, 
I'm just going to speak louder and I'm not going to let you speak. If you want to have a conversation, then that means all you need to do is let me finish replying to him and then I'll come to you. Is that all right? Is that all right? Let me finish, let me finish what I'm saying to him. Right, well, don't interrupt. And I won't need to shout. I won't need, I won't need to shout if you don't interrupt. So let me finish one. Yes, absolutely. Yes, if you can be patient for two minutes, you will be able to speak. So, I'm going to explain it again. We exist in three dimensional space. This dimension, this dimension, and this dimension. We know that these are dimensions, and we know these dimensions are exactly like the other dimensions, but they are one thing. We experience them as one thing. And so the idea that plurality and singularity are contradictory is a myth. It is not true. And your objection was, how can three be one and one be three? Well, we live in three-dimensional space and you've got no problem with that. So you've got no problem with the concept of plurality and singularity. He got it, he got it, I got it. Now that, you would like to reply. Why is the concept of God? Just, 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 Which it just doesn't, like, right? What did you understand from what you just said? That there, was, there are three dimensions and we live in them. And that those what three dimen dimensions... Well, let him finish. You asked what I got. Okay? And that those three dimensions are also one. So he got it. And you understand. He got it. But he's saying that this So what they're upset about is that you get my argument and it exposes that they don't get it. We're not upset. And it doesn't expose anything. I'm not like that. I'm not at least. Because I don't So do you want to talk to me? Right, I'll continue talking to you. No, no, no. Alright, you talk then. Yeah, I've got a question. It's got to be on topic, bro. I'm not jumping around. Can you answer the clear contradiction in the Bible? Where it says, who's incited David to count the fighting men of Israel? God yeah. did. In Samuel 24, 1. But in, in the Chronicles 21, 1, it says Satan did. Can you read it in uh, Chronicles 21? Because read, I'm, it in, I'm, read it in Chronicles. Read it in Chronicles. Read it in Chronicles. Read it in Chronicles. What does it say in Chronicles? So, one moment. But don't talk over me, yeah? yeah well, don't, don't do that. Over. Yeah, but don't talk over me. Okay, well, well, I'm, I'm having a conversation with him about the Trinity. You're bringing in something entirely I'm different. I will come and find you and we'll talk about that. Must you have a about yeah, yeah, question? right. Let, 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 no, 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 I, no, 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 no. I'm, not, I'm sorry, I'm not going off topic. I, I, I want to finish this conversation with you. I, no, Rick. All right, so you guys talk to yourselves. And, and, and I'll, running away in front of the whole crowd. No, not really. Because, uh, no, no, one second. One second. One second. Read it in Chronicles. Read it in Chronicles. It Satan did. Right, and what's the problem? Well, 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 don't interrupt that's because that's how so I feel. Please don't do that, so, right, so we agree. You're not going to interrupt me and I'm not going to shout. Are we agreed? Yeah. Right, so you don't, don't interrupt and I won't shout. And what about your friend? He's responsible for his own actions. Well, if he interrupts, then I've got to shout. That is. Right, so 24 1. Now 24 1. Now again, the anger of the Lord burned against Israel and incited David against them to say, go and number Israel and Judah. Everybody say Israel and Judah. But who incited it? Israel and Judah. Right, what's the other passage? But who incited it? What's the other passage? God, God did, right? Let what's the other passage? The other passage said that Satan did. It's Chronicles 21.1. What, what? Chronicles 21.1. 1. Uh, 1, 1 Chronicles 21.1. 1. It okay. says that Satan did, not let's, God. Let's, let's go to it. Let's what's go to mean? it. One, what's sorry, what was it again? Here you go, bro. 1 Chronicles 21.1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1 Chronicles 21.1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. No, I'm, I'm, I'm checking what he's reading because it, it sounds uh, right. similar. So 21 1. Then Satan stood up against Israel and moved David to number Israel. Now, did you hear the difference? God called David to number Israel and Judah. Number, yeah, to count them. But Satan stood up against David to incite him to number Israel. So these are not the same event. They are not a contradiction. God made David number Israel and Judah, and then Satan came to David and made him number Israel. Now we've done a contradiction in the Bible. Let's do a contradiction in the Quran. Now let's do a contradiction in the Quran. That wasn't a good explanation for that. Yeah, it didn't even convince me, sir. It doesn't matter if it doesn't convince you. It does because I'm searching for why the truth. You're not searching for the truth. But who says I'm not? I don't believe you. It's you who says that I'm I don't believe you. Believe you. Then why are you having a conversation with him? Because he's entitled to have a conversation. I've got no problems no, with talking so to people who are so, insincere. So you don't believe him. You don't believe what he says. Yeah. You don't care it's quite if he believes you. Right. So now let, let, let's talk about a contradiction uh, in the Quran. 
Yeah. Okay. So, so let, 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 let's 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 talk about country. I thought. Just I thought. You we, I'll say one do you see thing. why I've got to raise my voice? Can I not say one thing? Just of course start. you can. Go All for right, it. Go for it. One, one, just add some advice to you. I reckon you should learn how to speak with manners and respect because if you don't, you need to understand that there are consequences for the way you speak. Are you trying to threaten me? Are you trying to threaten me? It's actually not a threat. The man that called me a dog is now telling me to speak with manners. Yeah, you should. There you go. You he called me a dog that says I should speak with manners. Well, well, what's the consequences, bro? Yeah. So there you go. So, so. So, you Christians are always thinking about violence. Yeah, yeah. Just called you a dog. That's there you go. He called me a dog by his own admission and exactly. then demands that I Why talk with Christians manners. Is that respectful? And this is the conceitedness of the Muslims in the corner. Right, don't run away from the contradiction in the Quran. Don't run away from the... The reason why they're talking to you is because they don't want to talk about contradictions in the Quran. So let's, let's, let's talk about contradictions in the Quran. Okay? Let, let's talk about contradiction in the Quran. Okay. Are you ready? Are you ready? Ready for what? Okay, we're going to talk about contradictions. How are you going to ask somebody who doesn't know the Quran? Well, how are you going to ask? Right. Are you searching for the truth or what? Bear with us. Yeah. Bear with us. Doesn't make sense, my brother. Right. Why are you still having a conversation with someone that you don't believe and you don't care? Wait, they yes, believe because yes. whether I think he's sincere here, is irrelevant. Oh, is irrelevant right there, to whether I have a conversation with him. Still being disrespectful to him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let, let's let, let's 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 look let's let's look at a contradiction in the Quran. All right. Has his own falsification. He really needs it, but he's taking a long time to find a contradiction. Well, you came prepared, didn't you? So I, I'm now looking for one, aren't I? Yeah. Uh, you can just say it. You can just say it now while you're searching. No, no. I'll, I'll find it first. Thank you. It's all right. What does it talk about? Okay, so here's a contradiction in the Quran. Uh, uh, do you want to get your Qurans out so you can follow the argument? He says that I have a Quran. I'm assuming that you have a Quran. Joe, okay, stop fair assuming, man, Bob. Yeah, stop assuming. Why, why are you getting upset? Just You're really prejudice. upset. Have, That's almost prejudice, right. Bob. Okay. I have, I have. No, 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 no. The man's calling me a dog. You interrupted a conversation that I was having with him, and now you're demanding manners. I find that ironic. <laughs> Yeah, I, never I deserve it. I, I, never, I, never I deserve it. I never interrupted. There you go. I joined the conversation by your permission. Yeah. No, no, not by my permission. No, you told me you, you asked the him. You asked him. No, but and I said, witnesses. You so. Said you the conversation, Bob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I wanted it to be on to topic. You, I wanted it to be on topic. Let's All right. So let's let's go to Surah Six, Ayah One Zero Three. So you do have the Quran. Surah Six, Ayah One. No, One Zero Three. Six. One hundred and three. Yeah. But when I hear that kind of conversation, Surah six. Ayah what? Ayah uh, one hundred and three. Tell me when you're there, guys. Yes. Surah six. Ayah one hundred and three. And he is subtle. The acquaintance. Right. So, the Quran states in Surah six, Ayah one hundred and three that no vision can grasp him. We're all clear about that. The Quran is saying, no vision can see Allah. As an Arabic speaker. Right. One second, says, let me show you the contradiction. But listen, listen, let, 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 Arabic, let, 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 me, let, me, okay. let me finish the contradiction. Okay. Maybe we can learn something today. Sur, so in Surah 75, Ayah 22 and 23. 22, Surah 75, 22 and 23. <laughs> okay, now in Surah 75, Ayah 22 and 23, it says, And some faces that day shall shine radiantly, looking towards their Lord. So, can you see Allah or not? First, you have to be subjective in the... In our, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, you should be. You shouldn't be biased. You should look at it in a subjective way. Okay. Uh, we cannot, we cannot see God in our life, but we can. See, and uh, but we can see Him in the afternoon. Okay. So when the Quran states no vision can grasp Him, where where does it say in this world? Even even in the afterlife, no one can look at Him except the people that are in the heaven. Now, because Go on. We know we know that Prophet Muhammad, uh, he he actually interprets Quran 
in his life. So we have to look at him also. You shouldn't like only read the Quran because the Quran is uh, uh, translated by Muhammad to, to people. So some verses are already interpreted by uh, the Prophet. Now, now let, 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 let me reply because what you've done is confirm the contradiction. Because what you said, no, 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 I didn't interrupt yeah, you. Don't, don't interrupt or I have to raise my voice. So we can have a conversation. Okay, I didn't yeah? say that. Right. So if you interrupt me, I just raise my voice. And then he feels like I'm dragging his balls across. You know, don't be kind. Glass. Exactly. Shout a glass. And we don't want to do that to the guy. It's cruel. Don't do that. Exactly. Let's, let's not do that. So you've confirmed the contradiction. Because you just said that no vision can see Allah. And then you qualified it by saying in this world. And then I said, show me where it says in this world. And rather than show me where it says in this world, which you can't, what you said is even in the next world, except some people. So if you're saying some people can see Allah, then when the Quran says no vision can see Allah, you've got a contradiction because you can't have no vision in one hand and some vision on the other. Those two things contradict. It talks before, it talks before, yeah. it talks before about that they are in the afterlife now. If you read the verses before, yep. it's a whole chapter, right? And you, you no, just it, it, cherry picked one no, verse. No, no, no. Yeah. That's why it sounds out of read, context. If you read just uh, from uh, to, uh, the 13th verse yeah. until the contradiction, yeah. you say, you'll find that they are in the afterlife right now. Yeah. And that there are some people who are tortured because of their bad deeds and their people who are so blessed they get the chance to see God. Well, Where is the chapter called by the way that he missed? Uh, uh, chapter 100 and uh, what was it? It was chapter Surah 75, 75 22 and 23. If you read, if you read, it takes, uh, it talks about the apocalypse that yep. will happen. Yep. I do not swear, uh, uh, means I do not swear by, uh, yep. I do swear by the judgment day. So yep. the first word is about judgment. Yeah. So it's not a contradiction so because it's, it, it approves of what I said. You cannot see God except after this, this test yep. that he put in us yep. because this world is a test. So, like so, so hold on, you're, 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 yeah, go on, finish your point. It's like uh, if you look at it as a school, yep. uh, as a class. Yeah. So before the exam, you, you will get, before the exam, you'll have to study and open book and uh, look at the answers and start memorizing, making notes. But as the exam is set, you cannot open it again. So this is uh, after the exam, you'll get either fail or you'll pass. So this is an exam. So that's what? what, what so see, so when? That's why you cannot see the. So when it says no vision, it doesn't mean no vision. No, it means al absar means our vision. So right, and, and and is that still our vision? In the, is it not human beings that are seeing in the next life? What, what do you mean? So the, the, the reality is that it is a created vision that sees Allah in both verses. But the Quran is saying no vision can see Allah. But then it's saying that in the afterlife some people will see Allah. That's a contradiction. No, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. When you see Allah, it means you have born or dead in, in one. Uh, I, I, in I, one, I, I, I get your argument. Allah is so great that He's there's nothing that can. Uh, what's good? I don't know the. Conceptualize it. Yeah, contain it. Yeah. So if you looked at Him, it's like you contained Him, and there's nothing that you can. It's it's in there's a uh, there's a verse that Laysa uh, Kimithli Shay. There's nothing like. Him. So simple question: According to the Quran, will you see Allah or not? There is even actually in uh, Islamic scholars, there is some people that say you will not see his face, you will see his light. But there is, oh, but uh, there is uh, other scholars. Is seeing his light, seeing him? Yeah, there's a, no. They say you will not see. Him. No, that's, that's not they, so it's not him. His light is not him. He has, just, light, he has a hijab. I'm talking over subjectively. Himself. I'm not yeah. being biased. I'll give you all the answers. Yeah. Um, he will take his hijab yeah. off and he'll allow no, them no, no. to see him. It's not a hijab. He'll allow it's them not, to see it's him. It's not hijab. Hijab it's just means veil. No, no, no. Hijab just means veil. Not veil. He's not wearing a veil. It's, in Arabic, when you say there's a hijab, but you know what I mean. There's, I there's something that prevents you from looking less like a wall. It's not like he's wearing a veil. But Muhammad himself said. That how could I have seen Allah? Allah is veiled in light. Actually, so actually, Muhammad this brother did, is not wrong. Actually, Muhammad did not see Allah. He, he didn't. He didn't. Yeah, he said. He said, how could I see him? He's veiled in light. In light. So whose light is that? It's his light. So if it's his light, you're seeing him. No, you can't. Is the light created or uncreated? It's part of him. 
So if you're seeing a part of him, you're seeing him, aren't you? So it's created. So say for example, so it's created. Is it created? If I put something over myself, yeah. fully covering myself, can you see me or what it is? Or what I'm putting? If you put something over you, I see the thing that you cover yourself with. Exactly. Right. So now me answer this question. Answer me this question. Is that thing that covers Allah created or uncreated? We just put opinion. Yeah, we just put Right. So here's the problem. You're saying that no sight can encompass Allah. But you're saying that something that is created can. And that is a contradiction. No, 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 it's not a contradiction. Do you didn't even hear what he said? What did he say? No, no, no. You you just said that he that I said that's a contradiction. You didn't even hear what I said. Okay, yeah, you're right. Right. There we go. So what 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 the brother said was that he's going back to his idea that Allah covers himself in light, like a hijab, like a niqab. Let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. Let me finish, let me finish. He did say that. Am I misrepresenting no, you? I said, I said there's, there's a veil, himself. there's a veil in front of you. Right, but, and you used the analogy of the niqab, did you not? No, I said hijab you know, you know, means veil. Yeah, but then he uh, hijab doesn't mean that, but it, it means all, modesty. The, the a veil is something different. No, no, no. So, so, so in terms of, in terms of, what, what you're saying? Just one minute, let me continue. Yeah. So the brother, the brother basically used the analogy of if he covered himself with something like a niqab, that I wouldn't see him, I would see the, the niqab covering him. I agree, that's a logical argument. And then I asked the question, the light that covers Allah, is it created or uncreated? Is it a part of him or is it not? This brother, this brother said it was a part of him. If it's a part of him, then you're seeing Allah. If it's created, then you're not seeing Allah. But if you're, it's created and you're not seeing Allah, then that means something that he's created encompasses Allah. Again, 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 again. Again, firstly, firstly, he's not a scholar. So what he's saying, you cannot, you cannot pin it on him and saying that this argument failed because... Are you a scholar? No. So the same applies to you? But you're not I'm, I'm well researched. Okay. How do you know he is? Just, just let me tell you, because, because his argument, but that, that doesn't mean he's... Uh, I'll tell you what I mean. When you see, if you saw his light, then you saw him. You cannot see Allah because he's above your... Uh, Imagination. It's like, you cannot contain him. He's so he knows crazy. that, he, he already knows that. The, uh, when we say Allah, we don't, we don't, I don't imagine a man sitting on a throne. I don't give him a... There, there's no image. Allah. That's why in Islam we don't paint him. Because there is no image. Yep. Play second for the There is nothing like second. The light does not cover him. It's you who cannot see him. You when Muhammad said, I have not seen Allah because he is veiled in light. No, Was that a true? That's a hadith. That's a hadith. It's a Hasahi hadith. From Bukhari. Why is it in the text? Uh, what does he say then? It says, it says, no, actually the idea, I'm not familiar with so I don't... But so how do you know it doesn't say that? I'll tell you why. So how do you know it doesn't say that? If you story. don't know the because, hadith? Because I know the story. Well, you, because, bro, because, you, you need to practice what you preach. Because, because I know the story. I've listened to it thousands of times. Okay guys, listen. He went to a, a place where he entered, there is, there is a light. From that light, you cannot that see text? anything, Where's but God then uh, revealed the obligations he had to come down then and get to So the light yeah, that is veiling him, so the light that is veiling him is greater than Allah's light. It must be, logically. But it's logically, bro. Think about what you're saying. You're saying that this light that, that is, that, that Allah, brother, brother, you, you, you got to let me speak. Because you, you gotta let me speak. You gotta, you gotta let me speak. Then choose better words. So you, you gotta let me speak. You, you said that that this light prevents us seeing Allah. That means that this light, which I, I want to ask from your opinion, one, one, one second, is that light created or uncreated? It's created. So a created light is superior to the light of Allah. Because it stops you from seeing the light of God. That's like that's like saying that God creates a rock that he can't pick up. You've just done the equivalent. Saying that God saying that no 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 wait wait wait. Saying that me there's a point there's a point. Let him speak. Let him speak. Why didn't you stop him from interrupting him? Dude, listen to him, man. 
When you say God can't... Why didn't you do that when he interrupted? Yes, did, yes, but why didn't you do You're that when he interrupted? No, no, I'll come back to him. But why didn't you do that when he interrupted? So it's it's funny that. Do it. Yeah, go on. A boss can say that he cannot uh, pick a cup. Saying that is a contradiction by itself. Would you agree it is? No. So you're saying God can create a rock that he can't pick up? That's a con it's, you're saying that's not a contradiction? Like, it's like saying, can, it's like saying can you hear this white colour? So you agree? Can, can so you it's a nonsensical statement? Yeah. Agreed? Of course. I agree. But so can he's saying that God can create a light that is greater than his light. Uh, we didn't That's, say that. that is the same we didn't thing. Say he did not say that. The same you said, you said that. You did say that. You said cover. He said cover. I'm saying. telling you, you whether, cannot contain him. Whether it's a barrier, you cannot or cover him. Veil, so, my, my, my did you say or did you not say that, that, that God creates a light that prevents you from seeing him? What? Did you say or did you not say that God no. creates a light that prevents you no, from I seeing him? Okay, repeat what you repeat your argument. I said. Because I must have misheard. I said. There's a, uh, the verse you showed us that eyes can, visions can't foresee him, right? Yes. I told you because he's so he's greater than to be contained in a light or in a spectrum. It's like, yeah, have you listened? You don't want to put that mic have you, have about you, to get destroyed. Have you said that, uh, have you uh, ever heard of the frequencies and there's lights and there's spectrum you cannot see? Yep. At this definition, you can also, you cannot see God because he's in a whole different uh, spectrum or uh, and you cannot be so, in our eyes can't so, 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 so come back to this idea so that no Muhammad said that how could I see Allah, he is veiled in light. Yeah, but, but when he said that, when he said that, in the hadith, that I have, I've never, never seen it. Okay, maybe something for you to research. Yeah, of course. I'm not a scholar. Fair enough. So, when he said he's covered in light, that doesn't rebunk my uh, discussion. He said, there's a light between me and him that prevents me of seeing him. That doesn't mean it is covered. It's not covered. When you say God is covered, it means he's contained. And God says, they say, committed, they say nothing is like him. So there's nothing, yep. nothing as giant, as uh, vast as him. So if yep. you say there's a light that covers him, that means... Muhammad said that. All right, then, then the, the translation you have read may be uh, wrong. Or maybe it's right. Maybe it's wrong. Or well, maybe it's right. I mean, the thing is, right now. If you have that, let me read. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to get it. But so, but yeah, but, but in, in but terms. That, but doesn't rebank my argument this, uh, uh, because it doesn't rebank what they say. So, because the definition. No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on one second. What you've got are, is an absolute statement in the Quran that says no vision can see Allah, proceed. and then another statement. No, no. So see, proceed. Let, 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 let's let's have a look. Come on, let's have a look. So seeing and it, let's go. Totally says no, no vision can encompass him. Like yes, no vision so can that encompass does him. Not right, hold on one second. No, it does because no, you know if if you're saying that no vision can encompass him, one second, then any vision sits upon a spectrum, doesn't it? So it sees him in part, does it not? I don't know that. Right. I can't say but that. Is that context? He, I but that say, means that that means I, that I there is some vision. No, no, hold on one second. If, if you're saying your argument is no vision can encompass him in his totality and then what we're saying is in the other verse it says some of them will see his face. One second, no, 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 let me finish my point. But the problem with that is that what you have then moved is into a quantity, a quantity difference. But that means that it's not that no vision can see him, it is that some vision can see him. And that is the contradiction. No vision can see him no, is an absolute. It doesn't say, it doesn't see, it says perceive. Encompass him. Then you just, you just made a verse from your mind. Encompass him. Encompass him. Yeah, yeah. But a bit what, like you should. What the verse, what the verse says. Bobby. Or rather he should. Wait, Come on, Bobby. Rather he should. Wait, what does the yeah. verse say? Don't you know what I'm talking about. It says encompass him. <laughs> so encompass him means that vision now sits on a spectrum, doesn't it? A quantity. Before Jesus Christ saved that, over to him. Yeah. Encompassing means a, a, a quantity, doesn't it? Right? So, no vision can grasp him. The grass, he grasps all vision. Right, so that's the totality, isn't it? Yeah, so it's the totality, isn't it? No, it's a totality, isn't it? Is it a totality? Yeah, thank you. Right, so now work with that logic. So you're, it, the Quran is saying, that, that no vision yeah, what's your can, can yeah, so my point is that in the other verse it says in the heaven that they yeah that look, look towards their lord so hold on one second you, you've got to let me finish my point what's your point i'm, I'm trying to but yeah. you keep interrupting no. 
thought that was your point. That was well, uh, point yeah. So if we're saying that you, you can't grasp him in his totality, so all vision now sits on a spectrum. All right. Yeah. I, so I so so if you're then saying if you're then saying that that in the afterlife people will see him in a, a kind of like a slither out of the, out of, let me finish some people will see him in, in kind of like a slither okay so you, you, you you're not going to listen so so you don't so I'm going to start again I'm going to start again so in 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 surah 6 ayah 103 you and I both agree no no you see he's still interrupting no, I'm, You're still interrupting. We're, I, I'm telling you that. How I about I say my point? How about I say my point? See your point. Okay. So you're saying that that Allah can't be seen in his totality. Perceived. Okay. He can't That's be perceived. Word. Can't be seen in his totality. Perceived. Right. No vision can grasp him. In this life. But that means that vision now sits in a quantity spectrum, and that quantity is saying that that you can't you. You can't see him. No vision can grasp him. But in the next verse, it's saying that some vision will look towards the Lord. So they will see their Lord. Does it say their Lord or does it say some part of their Lord? No, it says their Lord. Sure their Lord. Lord. So is Allah one or is he parts? That's your point. So if you're, That's going, your point. if you're going to see him and he's one, right. then you see him right. completely, yes. utterly, yes. absolutely. And that's his totality because Allah is one. All right. Now I, now I address that point. Do you want to just Brother, you, you keep getting stuck on this spectrum, spectrum thing. Like, you have to understand that you are a religious man yourself. Yep. Yeah. We can't fully comprehend the majesty of God in it. I agree. Yeah? We're talking about spectrum. This is the worldly, earthly dunya. We have five senses. We have, have smell, sight, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yep. A bat or something can that. He has a different spectrum of hearing to you. Yeah? Or yeah. So, Ooh, see. It can hear different things. Yeah. A dog cannot see the same vision that you can see spectrum-wise. Yeah, agreed. Yeah? So when we're talking about the, the Almighty, the Creator, yeah, how can you even begin to use these kind of... Uh, With your little mind. Exactly. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. So you know, his point is yeah. that why does the Quran say there's a claim that no, no one can see him, but then in the afterlife, after that, after the, before the... In the hereafter, some people there, will be able to see... The other verse, the chapter 75, yeah. uh, says that some people will be look towards their Lord. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't read. He did. Yeah. He didn't read the. the no, no, no. You're missing my point. No, no, You're missing my point. No, 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 no. Is Allah one? Yeah, yeah. I'm a, Is Allah a totality? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right. So if you look towards your Lord, there's no seeing him in parts. There's no seeing him in bits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're talking about the light, isn't it? You're getting stuck. No, 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 no. No, you're missing. You're missing the. Okay, that was a separate point. I was pointing at a separate right. contradiction. Right, you separate point. While, while I'm your point. So, so my Just point. Address okay, address Tell my point. Address my point, not his point. Oh, okay. You said, I'm telling you that this verse that says that some people are looking toward the gods. Yes. Already have to look at this uh, verse. That first, firstly, they are in the afterlife. Yes. Right. So there is supernaturals that happens there that can that in our day could could be said considered as uh, impossible. Yeah. Because he created the laws of the universe. Yeah. So in the afterlife, it's totally different. Uh, so the first, there's two uh, parts of people. There's two, two parties. Parties who are uh, afraid and exhausted and uh, terrorized. And those, uh, the other party who are relieved. And uh, yeah, and one of, uh, and because they are relieved, they have sent to heaven. And in heaven, they will see their Lord. Right, right, hold on one second. Because this is my point. If Allah is one, yeah. and he is an absolute one, there's no bits, there's no parts. Yeah. So, they, they are, one second, the argument, yeah. the one verse of the Quran says, no vision can encompass him. Yes, yes, yes. But Islam also teaches that Allah is an absolute one. Yes. There's no parts. So if another verse of the Quran says, they will look towards their it's Lord. It's not, it's not, well, they one second. Not, I know one second. Why are you interrupting? One second. Why are you interrupting? In Islam, why are you interrupting? Okay, I'm. I'm just going to talk to you. So, in, in another part of the Quran, it says that in another part of the Quran, it says they will look towards their Lord. Now, if Allah is Allah is one, he is absolute. That means that if they're looking towards their Lord, they can't see a bit of him. Why did you? Because the 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 they, they summon the whole of the equal. Where did you get that? Like the part, there's no parts, that's the point. Yeah, so yeah, if they're from. looking towards their Lord, they're yeah. seeing him. Yeah. 
And that means vision has encompassed him because he is one. He can't be seen in bits. Who told you that you're going to see more? He can't be seen in parts. Who said that you're going to see more? So Allah is in parts. Wait, you might so see. So Allah is in parts. Brother, brother, but this is easy, brother. You might so is Allah in parts? You might see an attribute of God. There you go. He's no. Nur. Yeah, but that doesn't mean I cannot see a part of him. You oh, you can see a So he can. So he is a part. So he is in parts. No, it, it's it, there's a difference when you say, I'll give you a photo of a tree. Yeah. They all see, uh, let you see one bit of it, and you say, oh, it's cut in Lego parts. No, but a tree is. But a tree is. But a tree is not singular you're, you're it's not an absolute no, no, singular no, no. Right. It's one thing. no because the leaves are distinct from the branches which is distinct from the trunk which yeah. is distinct from the root yeah. has a tree. it is not and an absolute tree one right? who said in, that you said islam said that he's an absolute the, 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 one that, what did you islam that? islam what teaches did you islam I teaches mean, Wait, islam, you islam teachers no, you islam teachers islam teachers okay. are, are, are you done interrupting are you done interrupting are you done interrupting are you done interrupting are you thank you so it does Islam teach? Let's do it that way. You're does Islam teach that Allah is one? Yeah. yeah, Allah is one entity. One entity, entity. a like singularity. Yes. No, uh, what do you mean singularity by what? Singularity is above and outside of the universe. So does it have parts? No parts. No parts. Unless he wills. Yeah, no parts. Do you understand? So your argument about the, the tree... Be indivisible. The, yes. the, 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 so so the, 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 the yeah. parts, he's that's not, exactly what we say about the Trinity, but you don't accept it. So in terms of, in terms of, so he's not in parts. Part, Thank you. Yeah. So your analogy that, that, to the tree doesn't, doesn't work. That doesn't mean no. Because the tree Why has parts. Me, man? If I cut off a branch, but you the tree doesn't disappear. Do you see the difference? Listen, listen, listen. Thank you. Listen, your point is, I c it's one thing, right? This is the one button. No, it's not I one. Can see it. That is not one. Yeah, the, the, it doesn't matter for argument's sake. You can look at a part of it, but you cannot look. You can see it all, and you can see only part of it. So why can't but you see brother, only one part? Maybe so that means some vision can see brother, their Lord. Bro, 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 bro let, 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 let brother, me say one thing. Let me say but one maybe, thing. maybe we can see the attribute of Allah. Doesn't he have 99 attributes? He's Nur. Maybe this is the light that Allah is talking about. It's not a part, it's an attribute of Allah. No, Allah is one. Allah is one. Still one. This is the answer for him. Look, look. You can see Allah's attributes maybe. Why doesn't Allah... Wait, so that mean, but face. the point is, well, the point is, let, 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 because now we're, we're talking sensibly, right? The, the, the machismo has disappeared from you guys. This so now we can have a, a conversation. Machismo? That, that machismo that's coming back from you what, now. So, so in terms of, in terms of your argument, the reason why your argument doesn't work, the, the reason why your argument doesn't work is, is because, is because you have to divide Allah into bits you can see and bits you can't see. That's the problem. You can see God's attributes. Because that compromises his tawheed, his saying, oneness. You can see Wait, God's God. attributes. Saying, saying that attributes there's God. only this way to see God, it's like you're it's giving a claim this is the only world. way you can see you God. Have to, you have to be divine nature of light. Because, because yeah. you appreciate science, right? Because you yeah. know that nothing goes faster than the speed of light. Yeah. You only yeah. act up on the So you don't appreciate them that when we're talking about Nora, when we're talking about light, that there may be some kind of incomprehensibility to, to the way you're trying to discuss it through just linguistics. I agree that linguistics limit our discussion about God, right? But uh, what I'm doing is I'm using what the Quran is saying, right? So if if that that means that that, that this perfect Quran that is meant to be clear speech, that's meant to be a guidance for mankind, is failing in in the way it's describing. Your, your, your understanding is, is phasing. Like, that's my, that's okay, my, uh, can, can uh, I can I summarize? Since 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 this started off, I, I was having one conversation with with. About sincere, one topic. Went, yeah, it was a yeah. sincere nice. He was a sincere guy. He was sincere, and then yeah. this guy derailed us and moved us on to a completely different topic, yeah. which is what we've just, yeah. which is contradictions. Yeah. So let, let, let me just sort of close down my position on this question of contradictions. The reason why he did that was right? because he, let, let, the guy was sincere, yeah. but we, we saw no, 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 he was not no. really sincere. No, you, he, he, he jumped in with a completely different yeah, topic. Yes, we were talking about the Trinity. Yeah, yeah. But let me, let me come back, let me come back to, let me, let me come back to the kind of summary point. Because I think we've kind of exhausted my position, your position. Okay, so in the Christian faith, what we believe about the Bible is not identical to what you believe about the Quran. You believe about the Quran that it is literally the words of Allah, that it's Nazil, that it's spoken by Allah, was given to the angel Gabriel who gave it to Muhammad, who's then scribes wrote it down, and it is ad verbatim the words of Allah, which of course means, yeah, exactly. Which of course means if there are any contradictions in the Quran, any contradictions, the Quran is not true. I'm not being unfair to Islam by saying that. Christians don't have this belief. We don't have that belief. We believe that the words of the Bible, the words of the Bible are 
written by men, inspired by God. Which means that our, our, our need for its absolute perfection in every regard and in every dimension doesn't exist. We don't have to have that. Because, 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 as you already know, human language is limited. If we all go away now and we give a written account of what we've just personally experienced, not only will all of our accounts differ, but all of our accounts will miss details. Now, those details, you know, are a degree of its imperfection. Those, those different accounts, even though every one of them will be honest and true, even though they differ, they will be imperfections. Language is limited. But exactly. And so we Christians have a much more mature way of understanding the revelation of scripture than I say Islam does. Because you set a standard that the Quran yeah. doesn't match. Yeah, that's one of so the that's my summary Quran. statement. What's so, your summary what, statement? What, 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 just one thing. That's one of the miracles of the Quran. Oh, well, he knows that. He's no, not no, no, no. Let me tell you. We believe, you, you, you said it perfectly. We believe that the Quran is, came to Muhammad verbally. That because it's a, a pure connection from God yep. to Muhammad and, from, and Muhammad to, to the people at the same life, lifespan of Muhammad yep. written the Quran. Yep. It was immediately after it was verbally uh, came down to Muhammad, it was written. Similar idea of what but, you believe in Christianity. But in Christianity, Don't believe that. in Christianity, you believe that the Holy Spirit can come mm. to a man and then he will write the scripture. So what Jesus it's said right. does not count. It's not important because the Holy Spirit will come again to every to every priest. So a pe for, if a priest can uh, lie, nobody can uh, uh, nobody can say that he's a liar because the Holy Spirit came onto him. And no, I mean, I mean that's so not that's not even follow, close to what we believe. So you cannot follow anyone. There is no change. And that's why there's a lot of contradiction in a lot of domination. So, so one second. So here's the difference: is I was able to perfectly, and you admitted it perfectly describe what Muslims what believe about the Quran. Yes. What Muslims believe about the Quran. Yeah. But I'm telling you now, you, you, you were miles off the mark about what we believe about the Bible. Miles off the mark. Yeah, so you, you, you no, one believe, second. The, dif is, the difference between us, in, in the difference between us, the difference between us, bro, is that I understand what I'm rejecting in Islam. But you don't understand what you're rejecting in Christianity. I understand, understand. 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 what we're rejecting. Wait. Yeah, and what, what, but, but what, what, what we're saying is that those writings are inspired by the Holy Spirit. Inspired yeah. by... We don't so know. I can say, no, by the Holy Spirit. You have to have faith that it's not the shaitan talking to you. And That's people it. will follow me. Well, isn't that what Muhammad said? That isn't that what Muhammad said? That's exactly what Muhammad said. Muhammad cannot write or read. Well, and he, in, that, and that, at the same time, firstly, said, firstly, that's disputable. No, 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 actually, it is disputable. No, it's not. He, 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 because you're, there are some, there are some Jesus, sources that say that Muhammad wrote no, and no, he read no, no, a contract. No. Do you believe in Jesus? No. Your God that's not what we. That that's not Muhammad what we believe, bro. Bro, bro. Muhammad made a claim to be inspired. Your, uh, uh, so your argument uh, uh, is as much against Muhammad as it against does, anyone else. Can Jesus, can your God did Muhammad did Muhammad claim to be inspired? Did Muhammad wait, wait, wait. claim to be inspired? No, no, wait. Uh, my, claim is, uh, your, my claim is Jesus said that Prophet Muhammad, when he comes, is an unlearned man. It's in your Bible. It, firstly, so that's does, not true. No, that is true. It really isn't. It really so is you're true. saying Muhammad was an ignoramus? No, unlearned. So, unlearned doesn't mean that he couldn't write. Is different to exactly. The, 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 your claim is that... Yeah, right, well, hold on one second. Came to him and just, S S so, yeah, but, but, but that's just to... Muhammad's claim. No, His no, argument no. is we can't trust the Bible because some people just said, I'm inspired. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's exactly what Muhammad did. He said, well, the angel Gabriel came to me. It's exactly the same. No, yeah, so if he's arguing... And it is, we have very different concepts. But this claim but, of... No, a man who cannot read or write to suddenly learn how to read or write... He didn't different. read or write. No, but he, he was Did able, he read or write? He was able to. Jibru came to him. He didn't read or write. He, he never read yeah, or he wasn't able That's to not a miracle. That. It's talking a miracle. Yes. Talking, talking is... So I'm miraculous. Yes. I'm miraculous. So so there's nothing special about Muhammad then. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. 
no, no. Because all Mohammed did is talk. You know what's Sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. All Mohammed did is talk. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he didn't yeah, read, he didn't write, he just spoke. And he claimed that, that what he was speaking was coming from an angel. That's all he claimed. You know what's special? There's, that's not proof of anything. That's not proof. No, it isn't. It's, there's, there's all kinds of contradictions. There's contradictions to science. There's contradictions to geography. There's contradictions to history. There's internal contradictions like the one we've just spoken. He's ignoring what they said, and he said that I, that's not true. Jesus said the that the, the Bible, Prophet Muhammad, which, will, which is why his argument doesn't work, come who is illiterate. It's a prophecy. It's a you, you weren't paying attention, bro. Jesus I can tell. But he's ignoring that's fine. I was, I was, uh, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. So, so he was making this argument. He was arguing against the Bible, and he's saying, "Well, we can't trust the Bible because people just say they're inspired." Yeah. That's what he was saying. Like exactly, and, and but that, that's exactly what that's exactly what Muhammad says. So th th it's not really an argument against the Bible because Muhammad also claimed to be inspired by an angel. So that's not an argument against the Bible. Yeah. Right. So so I mean I, I'm going to stop now and, and, and get a drink. But like you know my, my point to you is bro is that you, you, you brought out a contradiction to try and disprove the Bible, but that's assuming a logic that is true about the Quran. So you need to take that test and apply it to the Quran, not the Bible, because we don't believe about our Bible what you believe about the Quran. It, like I say, if me and you go away right now and write down what we've just experienced, we both go to the same hotel, sit at the same table, and without talking to one another, write down our own versions of this conversation, and we do, we do it with this commitment to be sincere and truthful, our two versions will not line up perfectly. You know um, the verse that you told me about uh, the contradiction that they will see God? Yep. I think I think you should you should be charitable and you should allow Christianity be, to be more complex than the was, uh, one second I, I was a Catholic. It, 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 that, uh, that's really a meaningless thing ago, myself. it really is that's a meaningless thing just to let you know that I'm not biased yeah no, I, from my experience you are but 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 in terms of in terms of what I would say to you is that you shouldn't judge Christianity by Islamic standards judge Islam by Islamic standards, judge Christianity by Christian standards. We Christians don't make the same claim about the Bible that you make a claim about the Quran. But if I was to um, judge the Quran by yeah. standards, I wouldn't be the first Muslim to have that. Yeah. And also, just on that contradiction that you, that you offered me in the Bible, I just want to give you another interpretation that's amongst the scholars of the Bible about that verse, which is that God allow, so it's talking about the same event, this is an, another scholarly opinion, yeah, this is another scholarly opinion, that, that God allow, so in one verse, basically it's essentially that God allows or forces David to count Israel through the agency of Satan. One perspective is talking about the fact that God allows it, and the other one is talking about the agency through which it is done. So my point is, we can both reconcile contradictions. We can do this game all day, but it isn't a game that leads us to truth. If you're genuinely seeking the truth, then you've got to use a cleverer, more intelligent way of deciding what the truth is. Because we can play the contradiction game over and over and over. For every contradiction you show me in the Bible, I'll show you one in the Quran. Uh, we've, we've discussed one. Contradiction. Well, maybe you didn't follow the argument. The other chapter was talking about the hereafter. But the other chapter said no vision. No means no. But not in the context of the hereafter. It was talking about this world the uh, matter. Like but you're imposing, you're, no, the Quran gives a statement, no vision can, can uh, encompass Allah. And imposing, you're in, then imposing this qualification in the Quran that you can't show from the Quran, that it's just in this world. That you show me where it says in the Quran, except in the afterlife.
Yeah, that's why we have to read the entire chapter. Yeah, which I did, right? which I have. And then you understand the idea that it's talking about the hereafter. Yeah, but but the. Well, you know that already. Yes, I, I do know that already. But the no vision means no vision. It's an absolute. So what you need to show me is a verse in the Quran that qualifies that no vision statement, not a verse that contradicts it. All you've done is show me a verse that contradicts it, not a verse that qualifies it. That qualifies, uh, sorry, qualifies which verse? So you need to show me a verse that qualifies the one that says no vision can see Allah, no vision can encompass Allah. All you're doing is agreeing with me that there's a verse that contradicts it that says something different. But then why would I need uh, another verse? And this is why, and this is why arguments from contradiction are ridiculous arguments. Because it, what they, that didn't make the, sense the, 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 so let me explain it. Arguments from contradiction rely on prima facie logic, i.e., what does the verse say at first reading? What does it say at plain reading? And the thing is, if that is the limit and scope by which you're going to read the Bible then that invites me to do the same with the Quran and we can play this contradiction game all day. It is not a good way to find truth. And if you got duped into Islam because of that kind of logic, then I feel sorry for you. Yeah. Where do you get your knowledge from? Yeah. In monotheism. Yeah. Which is what Christians believe in. We believe in monotheism. 300 years after. No, really. No, we do. I'm not, I'm not stupid. We do. Like, I watched so much videos for over two years. Though. Like, I, okay, I, I know can you can you show me, can you show me, can you bring me the video that says Christians believe in three gods? But, uh, I don't know if I can do that, but... I bet you can't. I'm not going to say I can or I can't. How about, you give, how about you spend the next week finding a video where a Christian says they believe in three gods? Yeah, but more, more importantly, I wanted to say to you that the Quran that we talk about the contradiction, we've kind of disproved that by telling you that the context is about the hereafter. No, you, 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 you try to reconcile a contradiction by saying something that the Quran doesn't say. That's what you try to do. It does in the entire chapter when you read it. You, you, but that chapter, right? the, the other chapter isn't talking about that verse. That other chapter is talking about something different. And that's why they contradict. Because they're talking about two different things. But in the those two different things, they make statements that contradict one another. The later verse isn't talking about the earlier verse. And that's why they contradict. The the, the 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 references I gave were six one zero three yeah, and seventy five twenty two and twenty three. Yeah, those are not talking about the same thing. Of course, we want to talk right. about the hereafter. But you're using one to qualify the other one. Yeah, of course. Because so there you go. So what you're doing is you're making the Quran say something it isn't no, saying. No, no, we're not. The Quran works uh, within and of itself together. Do you see how we can play this contradiction game? No, no, this is just a, you know, this is just a fact, though. Because uh, the reason why that message is in this chapter is because this chapter is talking about a certain type of a message. Yeah. And this one's talking about another. And they make statements that contradict. No, because one is talking about the afterlife, one is talking about the current life. So. And they're, but, but they're both talking about vision. Yeah. There so, you go. Yeah. So, so the, the one commonality between both of them is vision. Is vision. Yes. Yes, brilliant. But the difference and, is, and, and and the difference is, one is talking about vision in the next life, one is talking about vision in this life. But but the vis the, the the verse that is talking about vision makes an absolute statement that no vision can see Allah. If no vision can see Allah and Allah is one, then if any vision sees any part of part, I mean that should worry you. If, if any any vision sees anything of Allah, they, if, if they do. see anything of Allah, they see the totality of Allah, because Allah is an absolute. You don't see that the sum, the, the, the bits are equal to the whole, and the whole is equal to the sum. So there is no seeing a part of Allah. You see the totality of Allah, because Allah is an absolute one. That's if it says that in the Quran, unless that's your comprehension. Are you saying Allah is not an absolute one? No, no, I'm saying uh, the that you're saying that if you see Allah, you see absolutely... Uh, yeah, it Allah, logically right? follows, it logically follows. 
No, that if Allah is an comprehension, bro. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Because my comprehension is different to yours, and I'll explain mine. We we saw that with the Trinity. Mine is mine is that Allah has attributes, and I can see an uh, attribute of Allah. Yeah. One of his attributes is uh, light, no. Yes. Right. Which is which is a comparison to a created thing, which but that's another problem. But it's an attribute of, it's of, a, of the Lord. It's a, a a comparison to something created, which is which is a a a problem, another problem in the Quran. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, but I'm gonna go get a cup of tea. You're more than welcome to join me if you want. Anyway, it's nice talking to you. Good talking to you, Bob. Yeah. Next time, bro, be polite to us. And all right. Fucking yeah. Raise don't your don't call me a dog and interrupt and jump in. Yeah. We can all be better. We can all be better. All right, bro. Yeah. Come and join me. Yeah. Basically, guys, the 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 the, 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 con the nice conversation that I was having about the Trinity was derailed by one of the Muslim brothers who wanted to talk about his contradiction. A contradiction that is easily reconciled. A prima facie contradiction is at first reading, at face value. And we can play the contradiction game forever. I can find loads of prima facie contradictions in the Quran. And I accept that Muslims can find loads of prima facie contradictions in the Bible. And I accept that Muslims can come up with their reconciliations, just like Christians can come up with their reconciliations. And the reality is, that kind of discourse does not lead you to truth. So Muslims, expand your mind. Think to a higher level. This kind of thinking isn't getting you anywhere. And all it does is gives me a stick to beat the Quran with. So, so, Let's try and look at better, deeper things. Christians don't make the claim about the Bible that Muslims make about the Quran. We don't say that it's literally the words of God. And if we say that it's literally not the words of God, but literally the words of men inspired by God, that allows us, as it were, Things like, for instance, if you go away and you write out your account of what you've just watched on video and compare them to one another, they won't match. But it doesn't mean that you lied. It doesn't mean that you told a mistruth. It doesn't mean that you were misleading. The fact that stories told from different perspectives don't match, at a prima facie level you can say have contradictions, but no one who is sensible would say that these different narratives are false because they're not identical. But then when the Quran claims to be from Allah but contradicts history, contradicts science, contradicts geography and contradicts itself, then obviously I'm right to say that it's not from God because the Quran says if it was from any other than Allah, I would find contradictions therein. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you.